Got a couple of Uh. Okay. Shit. It's explicit content. I'm it's Rose. Me. Turbo Crab, DJC Rob. Rose we back. Phil, Rose Max Payne. Oh. For another episode of explicit content. I roll up a finger, it got my eyes ringing. I'm puffing on shit you go cold to. My pack have your car jumping right off the bottom of water. I can shift the poles to. I said the ooh, but she hopped in real flu. And little nigga, not sure what she told you. Post nigga, I get to the bag. No million or dab. I just. Uh, we're going to switch up the topics a little bit today. Less of music, more of worldly issues. I think you really. I just... Little shit, miscellaneous shit, slight shit. Little mama shit. You feel me? Like, 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 hold on. Cause, my, oh, yeah, my computer tweaked out. We got the MacBooks over there, though. What you got? Fortnite, bro? Apex, PUBG, folk. And, and, um, honestly, I'm the wrongest nigga ever to do this shit. And it, honestly, y'all can go. Look my shit up on PSN. Uh, I Z R A H the King eight nine five for eight nine five. Y'all look me up and get that smoke if y'all want to or whatever. However y'all want to put it together, but Apex is the best game out right now. No bullshit. Red Dead Redemption you can keep it. Call of Duty Black Ops Four you can keep it. Apex the best game. And guess what? So it's free. So Fortnite was also a free game, right? And yeah. They had like over 80 million uh, subscribers or whatever. 80 million players first. Um, but you know, none of that. Fuck. Fuck Fortnite. So they owe, you think they owe Black Boy then? Since it's fucked them, they owe Black Boy JB for his dance. Honestly, they owe a lot of people for that shit. If you want to be my, you know, I know. Right, because there's a lot of dances on there that could be. You copyright and that's the part of the problem it 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 ain't it wasn't as original as it could have been apex is original three-man squad all right so if we want to talk about originality you got to go to PUBG. <sighs> PUBG was the original um the original game who who started the uh i don't know how to say online multiplayer you know what i mean though like PUBG was the first with the format that dropped you out the ship battle royale right type shit right I feel, but then Fortnite came after them with the cartoon animations. But now, I feel like that was only cop, cop, copy off Call of Duty, just with a, a different feature. In itself, yeah, it was it was a free game. Um, you know, like like Chance the Rapper, he's one of the first first people to put his, his music free on on Apple Music and stuff. So uh, you know that that was big for the music industry, just like PUBG opened it up big for the for the gaming industry by launching a free game that everybody could play. You know, so it's been plenty of free games, but it was one of yeah. the first com competitive because free games. There's a, there's a game. The it's a Michael, no, not Michael Myers. Uh, Jason Voorhees game, right. Friday Thirteenth. That's free for PSN. You you basically, I think you you choose either between you being Jason or being like the I gotta watch that joint. the camp counselors or some shit. So you either hunt the camp counselors or you hide. So. You know, it's basically like had a seat. They basically you see who can survive the longest, or you try to escape. You know what I'm saying? Or you be Jason and kill these niggas. You know, either way you want to do. You know, no particular order, no fashion. But as far as gaming go, again, bro, my my pin can't change. Apex is the best. So yeah, game. that's the thing. So since Apex came out, Fortnite went ahead and added the ping, and then I think you could also see your players. Um, if I saw like I was playing Fortnite the other day, so it's a little more realistic now. Um, kind of so I think you know it's just all, all Apex is missing just, is the crossplay with PS. Yo, facts, facts, facts. Xbox Live. If I could play, play with Xbox players, I would be set on Apex. That's it. That's it. That's all, man. Yeah, but it's just it's just a lot about trying to stay relevant. Look like oh man, because you know I don't know what PUBG doing, but it's just. Cause you know, uh, we, shit. Uh, when I was on Apex, you saw the the way you could bounce. You feel me? That's some shit. That's some Fortnite shit. I'm not gonna lie. That's some Fortnite shit. So they just, you feel me? They just taking each other's, you know what I'm saying? Each other's steeds on that. But one thing that's key is the kids. Yeah. You gotta pay attention to the kids. You hop off from the Fortnite to the Ro what? Roblox. Come on, <laughs> man. Motherfuckers is playing. What was the other game? Uh, not Roblox. Roblox. Not Roblox, but um, it was the it was one it was before all that shit. The, um, I can't really think of it. The um, computer game. Yeah, I, we can just go with Roblox, but it was just like Roblox, Minecraft. 
Ah, you know, like Minecraft. High, high school. Uh, that's when, like, that's when, like, high school start getting on that kitty shit and start playing like kid games again. So, that's our opinions on that, man. Minecraft. Uh, Apex, Apex Legends. You are the champion. Uh, all yeah. Father, give me sight. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Putting oh, niggas together. We go Twitch. ahead and push up here. Twitch we gonna put our PS. We gonna put our PSNs on there. Uh, I'm Big Bris Six Hundred. You feel me? You wanna capital B, lowercase I, capital G. Bris 600. Yeah, it was a king. 895. So, y'all know how that's coming. Yeah, Apex, yeah. Fortnite, add me. You feel me? I'll bust you in Madden, too. Uh, yeah. I mean, anything. I'm telling you, Twitch stream coming soon. We're going to put that bitch up. So, what's the next topic? So, like, um, yeah. So, we just picking on staying relevant with companies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, big name companies. And, and, and you know, and 20, 2019 has been a, a wild year as far as... Uh, I would. I'm, I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna say 2019 because it's, it's almost like every year we got a, some crazy sexual allegations. So I just wanna. Um, I wanna talk about the relevancy of Elon. Mm. What about it? We all know that Barry had this little scandal overseas, mm -hmm. um, and it was exposed because of the overseas. You know, you know, American. When you go overseas, you get treated way differently. Right. Um, I don't know. If, I'm just. I'm not really. I only been overseas about two or three times, but. Um, just still a different place. That's why I'm saying just the, the treatment, like, you're you going to feel it off back. And I think that was definitely the case here uh, with Bari's case because I think he was in Paris and, uh, you know, he was obviously, it was a video recording of him forcing a girl, you know, in sexual acts with him and his, his friends, you know, the ASAP mob in the hotel room. And the video was, like, all over Twitter. But I still see people wearing V-Long, but we're so quick to cancel R. Kelly music. The connection. But damn, like, all these rappers are still gonna wear the V's, right? The but but DJ saying they not. I'm 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 a DJ. I'm not dropping R. Kelly in the club. But DJ saying they not dropping R. Kelly. But, but the DJ long. DJ still gonna pull up in the V long though. Mm. He's still gonna wear that V long. How you know? far are we gonna condone hyper masculinity and the ties to it? Right. Hegemonic world word of the day. Hegemony. Get a definition of it. If you don't know what it is, go fucking look it up. We gonna put it on there. You see these books on this table, boy. I read. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about? Fuck what you talking about, man? But I, I do definitely feel it, cause that's just like, but that's just like the argument with with the N word and the ties to it. Who can say it? Mm -hmm. What can do it? So it's like, what can I? Wear? I like what killer, killer Mike, Killer Mike hit him in the head though. If you say that, then why everybody wear Jordans? And you know they, you know Mike said, fuck them kids. Yeah, fuck them. Niggas done died over mics. Still to this day. I, I try. I don't worry about me and Jordan. I don't really like Mike as a character, his personality. But fuck the kids. Fuck them kids, bro. All right. <laughs> Shit, but I mean, <laughs> nah, you right, bro. That's so it's the thing, like, use your common sense. Yeah, there, there you go. You gotta use your common sense. I tell you that nigga. I'm, I, I know we just brought up R. K. like a couple times. He's but, been brought up a couple times in our episodes. But uh, that illiterate motherfucker. I'm telling you, for you can learn from you can learn from about people, bro. You can learn. You can learn some shit. So with that, so you saying you can learn from R. Kelly, right? Oh uh, yeah. So what that mean? We because he got a 20 minute song called "I Admit," <clears throat> where he's basically just talking about his faults and what he's sorry for and he that's when he admitted to being illiterate and he admitted not being able to write his own music and stuff like that All right so um but that's the thing we're not supposed to listen to r kelly but are we listening to things like this to take it from learning experiences or are we you know what i'm saying what are we I how, think, how we you know what is, where's, the, where's the line drawn at i think if we go talk about all this as far as the industries that they represent right the industry that because we do went from music to fashion and how closely they tied together we already did put that together so it's like systematic fo it's systemic folk you gotta you gotta but you gotta start somewhere you gotta start so somewhere you, that's what i'm saying where do you start you the gotta start somewhere you i ain't gonna lie you gotta start if you really want to change something because of this thing this this is what everybody thought i'll be think be confused about food Black people, when it comes to influence and, and this social shit, at this point, bro, it, it, it it's coming from it's coming from the music, but it's being sucked up by who? 
the people that buy these tickets, the people that, that own these companies, these music companies. Uh, you think that Lifetime may make no money off this special? And Lifetime made a bag. You think you think Spotify really give a damn after they just soaked up all the streams once they spiked? Then they want to drop it? You think these people can't I kind of just trended like last week. And who are these people? White motherfuckers, bro. They don't... Why if you want it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, that's the same thing with the N-word, folks. You can't let some slide, you can't let them, you can't do it. You either stop it all together, or you don't do it at all. You know, too many people want to be in between on a lot of shit. Everybody want to be yeah, fooled that's, that's on a lot of shit. Real. Everybody, it's sometimes you gotta stand up for something. <laughs> You feel me? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop, like you say. Right. Draw that line in the sand. And and, and at this point, so I think motherfuckers just don't get that's nothing. That's the thing. Without being too sensitive, right? where's the line drawn? With what? With with, with everything, uh, like, cause you know, like everything is like. Cause that's the thing. So when I say sensitive, I mean like it's it's just clothes, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, are we supporting the clothes? Are we supporting Barry? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Am I am I too sensitive? That's what I'm saying. Am I too sensitive? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That I'm that I'm thinking about the clothes. Am I or taking it too is, deep? It, is the music? You know what I'm saying? The music is that too sensitive? You know what I'm saying? Because, but that's why I'm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's clothes and then it's music. I mean, and there's other things too. Like the the, the, the yeah, it's, it's music and music and clothes and all that's a form of art. You I mean, me this so? nigga Edgar Allan Poe stalked his girlfriend, cut off his ear. Yeah, Shakespeare. They say Shakespeare was a racist, a racist uh, drug abuser. You know, I, I I guess similar to what we said, you know, in our last episode, bro. You know, uh, morals and standards change. That shit change. So right now, it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like motherfuckers gonna do what they want to do. That's forever gonna be the case. Well, I was gonna do what they want to do. So, you feel me? You're not gonna tell me or convince me to do something. I per I don't wear V-Long because I don't buy it. I haven't purchased it, and that's not that's not in in no sense related to the Barbie situation. Yeah, I just I feel that. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I'm not gonna say that I don't wear it because of of Barbie situation, but. I'm also not like protesting it because I never wore it in the first place. So, you know. That's very real. My stance on it, Bari, you know, justice needs to be served for his violations of the human body. But if you're going to persecute motherfuckers for wearing, you feel me? You might as well, you feel me? Persecute motherfuckers for wearing Doc Martens because the KKK with them bitches. Like, Timberland. They say the uh, the trees represent like where they used to hang slaves and shit. So I mean, if you want to get deep, get real fucking deep, and then get real fucking deep with yourself, and then get real honest with yourself. Yeah. No cap. So, <clears throat> how about these white parents that need to be honest about them getting their kid? That's fucked. See, this is it. That's fucked up. That's fucked up because. Not only did y'all jag the move. <laughs> they didn't clear the move. Not only did y'all jag the move. Y'all wasted tons of... These white parents with the college scandal wasted tons of fucking money to get their kids into these high institutions and basically take up space. Waste space. Waste space? They're wasting space. Like, I'm sorry... Your little bastard son is a piece of shit, and he don't like school. Okay, you shouldn't, that's your fault. You rich as fuck. You should be a better parent, if that was the case. That's not That's not nobody's fault but your ass, because you want to get your son a motherfucking 2019 fucking Range Rover, he crashed that bitch, and, and call you a bitch because you don't want to buy his uh, another one. That's not nobody's fault but your ass, bro. He mad at you because you won't let him throw a party in the pool house, some other shit like that. Throwing throwing plates and shit at the cabinets and shit. Get the fuck on, bro. I don't I don't feel sorry for these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying, bro? And, and and I definitely feel like motherfuckers need to start getting reimbursed for a lot of shit. The black community. 
I don't know. Reparations. Reparations, right, right. I don't know which. What's the first thing you bought to reparations? Well, some, some candidate was talking about reparations for black people. I'm finna go for bro. Let's see. What you, what's the first thing you buy with your reparations? First thing I buy? Yeah. Some nigga shit. Probably some clothes, some shoes. G Star? Definitely G Star. And no, no, shh. Be quiet. Yeah, but I know niggas know about G Star. Elizabeth Warren is who you looking for. Uh, who am I looking for? Elizabeth Warren. Who is that? That's the, um, that's the lady. She's big on tech, trade, climate change, and reparations. Yeah, I need them. I so, need them. I'm yeah. looking for So. Y'all already heard it. 2020 race, I'm voting for Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, just, I haven't yet endorsed the candidate. Not sure. She talking about reparations. That's all I really need there, because it's one nigga talking about getting a thousand a month. But I don't we know. We got to get somebody on here to talk about politics. Yeah, uh, we got to get the folks with the hat. Yeah. We need him. We're going to have to book him. Hey, watch out. Watch yeah. out for folks in a hat. So, look. Put, look. Cut that out. That's the. That's. that's, that's look. That's I didn't do shit. Folks in a hat. So, look, man. <laughs> like I said, that's it for explicit content today. We'll be back. Oh, Catch us. You can follow me at Turbo Crab on Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to crash this bitch. You want to crash? <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitter all day. <laughs> all right, so. I right, get the fuck on my face. <laughs> I roll up a finger, it got my eyes ringing I'm puffing on shit you go cold to My pack have your core jumping right off the bottle With water, I can shift the poles through I said the Uber, she hopped in real fluid Little nigga, not sure what she told you Cause nigga, I get to the bag No million or dab, I just hit the soul through I took a hiatus, she say I'm my favorite I love it when she put my soul through We meditate for a date, sailing Nigga, soldier, nate for the smoke move No matter